We are gonna build a walnut box with the Marine Corps logo and we're gonna build it right now. So that seemed kind of harsh. They say you're supposed to set your hook right away when you do these videos, but that's not my style. What we are gonna do in this video is, we're gonna build this box with the Marine Corps logo and we're gonna make it out of walnut. And there's, well, I'll show you at the end of the video what goes in this box. I had some scrap walnut sitting around, so I made a bunch of rips. Then glued the rips together to make my sides, tops, and bottoms. Glued and clamped them all together, let them sit and dry. Since I made them a little thick and when they were dry, I fed them through my fancy schmancy new sander and sanded them down to quarter inch thickness. Cut my sides to the appropriate width, then put the top down and started my CNC work. This is about five times speed. And you'll see that this is gonna be the Marine Corps logo. Longest amount of time I spent on this project was actually doing the CAD modeling work in the software program. Depth on the detail of the feathers was one one hundredth of an inch. The Marine Corps logo is an eagle, globe, and anchor. Don't call it an EGA. And here it was when it's all finished. Made a simple box joint cutter template thing here and made all the box joints for my joinery on all the corners. And I forgot to uh, video the part where I did the little dados. Finally, I got everything glued all together, put it down, clamped it, let it sit. I cut a square piece to put in the top so when I clamped it, the box wouldn't come out of square. And then, next day, took the clamp off. And then something happened when I was trimming it and I couldn't figure out why it was chipping and we weren't getting smooth cuts. I think this is the first time in my life I've ever put a table saw blade in backwards, which doesn't allow for real good cuts. So I put the blade and cut it again. This time it came out real smooth.
My paint supplier actually made me some custom colored putty or wood dough that I filled in all the little gaps and then sanded it all smooth. To get the lettering and engravings to stand out, I put the stain on thick and then just lightly wiped it off. That way the engraving stayed a little bit darker. Gave it a light sanding when it was dry and then put one last coat of lacquer over it. Remember how I was going to tell you what was inside? Shot glasses. Who doesn't need shot glasses? So I just had a thought. Is this the same as giving away an empty wallet? Is it bad luck to give this away empty? If this is your first time to the channel, we sure would appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. But that'll do it for now. We'll see you on our next video. Still a little bit too harsh.